how to install a small little program called VLC. I'm sure you all are aware of it. And by doing this, it gives you a clear indication how good Zorin OS is for beginners. As I said before, this is version 17.3. So let's just go ahead with the installation. You just open up your terminal and type in sudo apt update the ampersand and and sudo apt upgrade and the y flag enter your password and go ahead the system automatically goes out to look for that updates that are needed and required and follows the instructions thereby it's a pretty quick install depending on your internet connection and your equipment your PC that is but this gives you a quick introduction as to how easy it is just to use the terminal to update things on your machine the progress is pretty quick as you can see uh, it takes some time because obviously it's updating a few packages and there you have it the update is complete and now what we're going to do is do sudo apt install and this is how it easy easy it is to install a software so sudo apt install VLC or sudo apt install any other software you want to install and this is how easy it is to use the terminal to install something on your PC using Zoran OS 17.3 there you have it VLC is installed you just clear the screen by typing using the super key or the Windows key and L now I'm searching for VLC on the GUI and there you can see I have VLC on my machine I'm using the Zoran package manager to install Fedora Media Writer and this way I will be able to download and install the Omachi beta release this is just to show you another version or another way to install a software package uh, on Zorin OS. You don't have to use the terminal. You can use their own package manager tool. And I'm going to speed this up quickly just to show you package manager. So it doesn't take too long to install Fedora Media Writer on Zorin OS. And after this installation is complete, I'm going to use Fedora Media Writer to install the Omachi beta ISO which I downloaded previously it's almost complete as you can see it's at 91 percent all right in this video I take the Zorn OS and I go and search for the Omachi ISO because well it was a new thing during the August time frame period and as you can see I've listed over here at the bottom it was done on August the 25th I don't know if you can really see that August the 24th sorry at 5:25 a.m. where I found out that the Omachi team had released a beta version so I wanted to try and install it and see how good it was this is me trying to actually find the ISO and as you can see I'm starting off here in Zorin uh, terminal to see which is the best way to download and install it but after a while I kind of realized that um, I would need to open up a browser to go search for it so this is when I opened uh, Brave and I started looking for the ISO and as you can see I thought the ISO might be at iso.omachi.com but that was not the case or oh sorry dot org but that was not the case and it led me to find out if the Cloudflare was up and running or whether my internet was having any problem so I basically had thought there could be something wrong on my side when actually in fact I didn't have the correct stream so I went back to Drew Lips YouTube channel to see where I could find the download and this is me just searching for Drew Lips YouTube channel 
because he was the first one or the first or second guy who I saw downloading and using the Omachi ISO and as you can see this is where the Omachi ISO was and when I clicked on it it had disappeared but luckily I had downloaded the version already off another machine and gotten it from there and as you can see uh, this these are, there are a lot of people commenting on this and everybody was excited to see another uh, arch distro being released or a version of an arch distro release to be installed so there was a lot of reviews drew lips did his arch plus hyperland omachi the best way to linux he did that one uh chris titus tech did arch linux in 12 minutes that was six months ago though and it was various other people so i want to just end this video by looking at some of the videos on the sidelines here this was done by dhh earlier amachi the unified menu system then linux ninja also did arch plus amachi the perfect combo installation and review and there you have it a lot of people did it there you have it it's come installing now and once it's installed i will go and search for the omachi beta release iso and burn it onto a usb stick as you can see the process is pretty easy i previously had zorin os on this usb stick and now i'm writing the omachi beta release onto the usb drive onto the usb stick rather as you can see the writing process is pretty quick and simple there's not much to do okay once written i will go ahead and see where it is installed so there i'm opening the usb stick and you can see these are the files that are needed to install amachi all right so this is the zorin desktop you're looking at and it's a little bit scruffy because i'm holding the camera at an angle but anyway hope you can see it this is the file explorer and here are the different folders on my usb i have an arch based system with the first beta iso of omachi now you can't see that all clearly but now i hope that gives you a better idea of what you're looking at and let's try and install the first beta release of omachi okay so let's restart this pc right now and we're going to do that by first getting to the bios and making sure it can be boot from the setup from the usb stick so here goes that did not work let's go to the ufa firmware settings all right and let's go to the boot options and we want to boot from this EFI USB device. F6 to get it all at the top. Exit, exit save settings. Sorry, exit saving changes. And confirm that by hitting yes. So now as the system reboots, we should be able to start with the Arch install of the first beta release of Omachi. Let's see how this goes. I might lose everything. It's ready to restart. It's running a hook there. As you can see. I would think it'd be running Arch at the beginning. Of course, this might be all malware and, and spyware. There we go, welcome to Arch Linux. So it's booting up in Arch Linux right now. Remember, I had Zorin OS on one of my hard drives in this machine. Omachi is beginning. It's going via Wi-Fi. And what I should have done is, I should have done it through Ethernet. But anyway, it says there, no options provided. See Gumshoes help. Aborted installation. Omachi ISO installation failed. This command halted with exit code zero. To help from the community via QR code or at this code, blah, 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 you must reboot and start over again to try again. Hmm. So I wonder if this was a Boot up issue, a much issue, or Wi-Fi issue. Stay tuned. Set up your machine. User, name, alphanumeric without spaces. Oh, I can do that. Alphanumeric without spaces. Let's type in what we should be typing. Oh, this is very tricky. Sorry, I've been not holding this thing properly. Password, used for user plus root plus encryption. Let's see what that could be. Excuse the angle that I'm recording at here. I'm recording from my tablet.
full name. You have to get authentication. You have to pretend to skip. Uh, email address. Let's just say, let's just say, it was a, uh, mountain farm? No, it was central. Arizona's close. Alaska? No, it was Arizona. Let's say that. Okay. English US? Yes, hit enter for that. Does this look right? Username, not the codes, password, blah, 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 full name, not the codes, email, not the codes. Uh, okay, first name, origin, time zone, user, Arizona, keyboard, US? Yes. Select install disk. Okay. There's dev SDA. 956, 953. I think that's where Zorin always is on, so we're going to install it on Zorin OS install area. I'm going to go yes for that. Let's select where to install Amachi. Everything will be overwritten. There's no recovery possible. Yes, for my disk. Here we go. Could be the end of the world if you know it. Switching the arch packages right now. It's for formatting the hard drive. I'm trying to show you how I install this live, guys. This is not me pretending how things work. And if the camera isn't steady, I apologize. This is no AI job. This is real action, real time effort. And yes, it's from my notebook. And it's creating the partition right now. This might take 10,000 years. But we're already five minutes into this right now. So, one interesting thing is, I haven't come across the encryption part yet. But it's starting the installation, so maybe this ISO will actually do the encryption later. And here we go. It seems to be doing something. As you can see, it's going ahead and installing all the stuff, all the Linux drivers that we normally find on a Arch install. Doing this live for, you, live for you, so you can see that there's no cheat codes involved. I've consulted the Discord. Well, not really consulted. I was just looking at it, trying to see which areas come up. And there seems to be a lot of people having problems because there seems to be a DDoS attack on the AUR, which is the Arch Linux repository. I don't know if that's true or not. Things seem to be going wildly good so far until I come across the next problem. Now, this is my third attempt, by the way, to trying to do this. It'd be interesting to see if a hyperland configuration for an ISO does a DDoS attack on the AUR. Or that's not the problem, but installation is the problem. So that might be an issue too. Besides that, I suspect that there are minor issues in the beta release of this ISO, but I can't imagine there being a massive problem for them. Seeing that this is running behind Cloudflare, seeing that this is by 37 signals, it's now telling me that it's setting the keyboard language to US. All right, we're eight minutes into this, almost nine minutes into this installation. There's lots of warnings here, of possible firmware issues. There's not the normal problem. I didn't even give me a chance to select ButterFS, uh, which I think is the system that's using this. Is it ButterFS or ButterFX? Maybe it's ButterFS, I don't know. Anyway, it seems to be going swiftly smoothing right now. So let's hope this works. This installation will either make my day or crash completely into oblivion and I'll have to start all over again. All right, now I don't agree with all the packages that they're installing, but it seems to be going ahead and installing all the packages for me right now. So, by the way, this is not a deal boot. It's, oh, I might have to reboot. So there you go, folks. It's doing its thing. By the way, this is all automated. I am not doing a thing. It's just, Amaji is just installing everything. Okay, we're 12 minutes into this installation right now and it still seems to be running. So these are all issues that I might normally have to deal with myself, but now with 13 and a half minutes into this deal, this is the time you open up chat GPT and ask it what's going on. But because I'm recording this from my phone. I can't use ChatGPT right now. All that's important is that we're 15 minutes in to this installation. 17 minutes in, and do I see a road at the end of the tunnel? Sorry, light at the end of the tunnel. It could be a road and it could be light. Let's wait and see. It's moving too fast for me to comment on which packages are being installed, which packages aren't being installed. I can see that LibreOffice is being installed. Signal, QT6, Electron, and a total of 126 packages. LibreOffice being one of them. Okay, this is raw and unedited unscripted installation of the first beta release of Omachi's ISO. I never knew you needed to make an ISO for a Hyperland config, but now it's been done and everybody's getting on the bandwagon. Me included. All right, so we're done. It says, I gotta remove the USB stick, as they say. I'm gonna have to do that pretty fast. And I should have started up where it's gonna boot from, but it seems to be booting up from Omachi. And I think I've put a password in. Enter. 
and boom, it's going. 20 minutes into this, folks, and Omachi is starting to run. I had to quickly remove the USB stick there, and now it seems to be starting the PC again. And boom, ah, there you have it. 20 minutes in, Sunday 10.52 is the time. 20 minutes and 46 seconds we're in. We've got mouse working. We've got various other things working. Ooh, we've got a lot of going here. That's B top, A top. I think it's B top. Anyway, here we go, folks. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, so you can see I have a watch running on this laptop right now. You have a serious noise going in, and that's from the fan, which I showed you earlier. I have to go and have it fixed. But first, this is the first beta release, and I hope to have a new install on the same machine for the first development release, because they've just released another version, and that version is without bare bones. So you'll have to accept all the software that they've installed on it. I think if they're all the software on here, I'll have to check. But this crashed earlier, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the fan and it's overheating. But let's just check. If I open uh, Super and T, I will get B top. Or is that H top? Don't really know which one it is, I forgot actually. But anyway, uh, you can see right there, so that shows, you can zoom in that view clearly enough. There we go, that's the CPU. And running at sort of 32 degrees max on the CPU. Uh, here are some of the programs I'm running. And over here on this side, you will see the total disk space being used. So definitely it's working. I don't have any issues with it. But like I said, it crashed earlier. I didn't have a chance to record that. But now I'm going to try and install the latest version and see if it's much better. When I get into the device, I'll show you again what it looks like. And it actually looks like a mess. But maybe I'm just not good about it. I'll have to uh, wing my brain a little bit and get into continue with it here to understand a little bit more what's going on. All right, so let's just boot up and get into the device to show you what I mean by a mess. And it's probably my own doing. So I have to look quickly here. There you can see the fan noise is coming on again. Let's just get into the device and show you what I mean. I go to the boot options. You'll see that this is the device I'm talking about. Basically, put a uh, machine in my one terabyte storage solid state drive. There's of course the Windows Boot Manager in the other 512 gig drive, and then there's Lemoyne the solid state drive. There's Arch Linux Lemoyne the bootloader. Uh, there's Ubuntu, and there's an EFI hard drive. Now I only have Ubuntu from the Zoran OS, but I cannot access that right now, or can I? I'll have to check. And I also have Windows running here. So let's just check to see if we can get back into Windows. I'm going to select the Windows partition, and I'm going to go to F6 to get it on top, and then I'm going to go to Exit, and uh, Exit Saving Changes. Yes, that. The fan stops because the machine's obviously stopped. And now let's see if it boots into Windows. Yes, there you have it. See the F circle moving? Just to be sure, I'm to put everybody at ease. Yes, Windows. There you go. That's Windows for you. Okay, so I'm restarting this again. Trying to get into the boot. Into boot we go. That fan's really driving me nuts. I'm going to try and see if we can get into Ubuntu. You see if Ubuntu's still on here. Windows on top, exit and save, oops, uh. yes, well, let's find out if Ubuntu is still on here, or Zora knows, nope, the grub doesn't allow for that, and obviously I'll have to change some of the settings in the grub, but that's not working, so, Obviously, Zoran was removed and replaced with Omachi. Stay tuned for more. All right, and there's Omachi pushing up. Pushing up, no, pushing up. Yep, there you have it. Omachi's up. And this is what Omachi looks like after five minutes. So obviously I need to fix something. It's not running smoothly. Let's see and see if we can fix up this issue. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications bell so you won't miss more easy tips like this. And hey drop a comment if you have any questions or want me to cover something specific. I'm here to help. Have a good day and see you in the next video.